two weeks of riding in Africa means two weeks of editing here at home. I love being home, I love editing, but uh, it's nice, all that's done now, so it is time to bust out the Orbea Rayon. Hopefully you guys watched my live stream a couple weeks ago that busted it out of the box. It's looking quite disheveled here in the Nugatorium. I've still got a lot of work to do. Bikes and wheels and <laughs> all kinds of stuff hanging about. Let's pull this thing out of here. Great day for a ride. My goodness. Ah. I have been doing this video thing for not that long now. <laughs> you know, I started in April 2016, December 2017 now, coming up on two years in a few months, and I think my Africa videos are my favorite videos. I really, really enjoyed the evolution of this channel and getting better on the bike, going to better destinations, and interviewing people and talking to people and telling their stories. There's going to be a lot more on this channel. I hope I can keep evolving and keep making really, really good stuff that people keep finding and keep enjoying. This bike is so big. Still not sure if it's tubeless or tubes in here. Do I care? I don't know. Of course I care. It's got to be tubeless. Can't believe how nice it is. I got to get this bike going so I can get out on the trail today. Does anyone else have a hell of a time getting the handlebars and the fork straight? I feel like I can look at it all day and move it around and then I get it on the bike on the trail and it's completely all messed up. Things are looking good. Let's get a little air in the tires here. Is it tubeless? Is it not? I think it is. I see sealant. Good enough for me. One thing I like to do when I'm inflating or setting a bead on these tires is to go up to like 40 or 50 PSI just to make sure that everything's fully seated. If you're confused as to why I have this bike or what's going on with the Bronson, all I can say at this point is you miss an episode, you miss a lot. That's that's my only answer for all these questions now. <laughs> miss an episode, miss a lot. Let's do 25 PSI front and rear. I'm almost as bad at the saddle as I am with the handlebars. That doesn't... Uh... Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm doing another Chasing Epic trip. This time in Grand Junction slash Fruta. All kinds of great riding out there. Check out the link in the description. It's in late April, I think. I might be getting that wrong. You guys on Patreon already know. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I posted it uh, at this point a couple weeks ago. But check it out. See if you want to go. You guys have seen the Chasing Epic trips. They've all been epic. They've all been a ton of fun. And I love riding with you guys and seeing you actually get out on the trails. I just moved these levers out further. They were in way too far. So now they're on the outside here so I can have my pinky hanging over the end of the grip and still feel good. Now to set up the air in my fork, it looks like I'm gonna need 67 PSI. It was sitting around 100, so I knocked it down to 67-ish. Now to go look up the specs on the old computer. You know, when I look at this picture and it says 25% of the shock, that really, uh, it doesn't look like much. I, I feel like if I look at this picture, I'm like, ugh, my estimation of 25% might've been a little wrong. Sweet, that looks like 25% exactly. All right, just did a little goon test up and down the street, got my heart rate going. I think it's time to get dressed and get out on the trail. Yes, I just noticed that dent in the side of my helmet too. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's from being inside my Evoc bag and going through many flights. It, I've been kind of lucky that I've been able to put my helmet inside the bag with me. So maybe next time I'll, t I'll just take it with me on the flight. There's, a, there's no damage, there's no crack, it's just a, it's just a plastic dent. We are rolling. This is the shakedown ride. I'm heading to Southern California on Saturday. I'm gonna hopefully do a, maybe a little more than a week of riding. Cannot wait, but I've gotta make sure this bike is in tip top shape for all that crazy shit down there. And anytime you get a new bike, and this is not a new bike, it's got miles on it, but anytime you get a new to you bike, you gotta shake it down, feel it out. I'm already a little suspicious of the air in the front tire, but the uh, stem was a little loose. Tighten it up, hopefully that'll stop any leaks. 
No knee pads today. They were just too disgusting to even try to put on. My buddy Justin recommended some uh, disinfectant spray that I bought from Amazon, so I gotta try that out. Let the suffering begin. Climbs like a goat. Pain and pleasure. It's downright warm now. That ain't right. Forgot to put on my wolf tooth fat paw grips. Maybe I'll save that for like a four hour live stream. That's me, man. <laughs> What's up, guys? Can I get a selfie with you? Yeah, man, of course. I need a break. Woo. I called it, Jay. <laughs> No way! Yeah, he did. Cool. It, it, and then I'd be mean. <laughs> Sweet! Got the BKXC gloves. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's your name? Jake. Jake? Okay. Jake and Jake? Yes. And Diego? Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, lead the way, Jake. Right. And then I'll follow. Yeah. Oh, it's a tight one. Nice. <laughs> Gotta practice my endo turns. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no gloves, naked hands, getting chalked up. So hopefully you won't grow out of that bike, huh, Jake? Yeah, we want to be here. That's good, because you'll be growing every year. And if you can get used to it, that's pretty cool. Dropped your phone, dude. <laughs> After that selfie, <laughs> it must have maybe in your pocket or something. Yeah. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in middle. Nice. Have you ridden the BMX in the skate park at all? Yeah. It's pretty good? Yeah. Nice. Actually, a scooter. Uh, a scooter in the skate park? That's awesome. I never come down this trail, but I'm going to take these guys down this one. The other trail I normally do. A little too gnarly for the BMX bike. But I think they should be able to handle this stuff. Famous last words. Following Jake. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you, Jake. I'm gonna follow you for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. How was it, Diego? <laughs> Survived. <laughs> Not quite the bike for that. Thank you. Hey, yeah, awesome, guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, man. Oh. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Have fun. Thank you yeah. so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> I owe you guys a red sticker. Make sure you email me. I'll get you one. This is what I came here for. Let's unleash the rayon. <laughs> Should have brought the machete. Okay, so goal for today is to run that thing as many times as I can until I get tired. Let's climb back up. This trail is like 40 seconds of some of the best downhill. Love it. A little bit better for my straight in the middle line. Paraglider. Howdy. I want to try that sometime. Beautiful Vallejo, California. Just enjoying the recreation late into December. Here we go.
clear that one out. Hit me in the face. Oh, the bike feels absolutely dominant. Holy moly. Squishy in all the right places. Back up. All right, let's switch it up a little bit on this run. Hope that one looked good. All right, mission accomplished. That was a lot of fun. Wore out, heading home. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.